where there are two concepts when we deal with tokens or basically it is authentication and authorization if you are not familiar with these terms then let me help you understand it well authentication and authorization are two different things authentication is basically is used to get access to the rest api you need to have a proper user id and a password and user id and a password is like an authentication to connect and an authorization is basically the kind of operation that is allowed to performed on the resource which is managed by the authorization let's say you have access to an api but you only give an authorization to execute get method you cannot execute post put and delete that authorization you don't have for your user id and user id based on your authentication token is nothing but a key issued by a server to client with some permission so let's say if you want to connect to an server right which is hosting a rest api you first need to get an authentication user id and password once you get that you need to have a token the token generally have the authorization authorization depending on what type of operation that you can perform and this token generally will be available with the client and every time client makes a connection to the server it has to take this token and go to the server and you know every time it has to authenticate to say see this is my token number and i have the authorization to do this then server will verify the token and based on the authorization it will allow the type of operation you want to do remember that token is you know is an authorization like you know you can only do get or post and all the other operations are blocked something like that client can use this token value and it pass it to the server every time it connects and prove it has authorization to access the resource it is every time i mean every single connection this token will be verified this is basically an authorization right do you have an authorization to perform this operation let's say you know it is making calls from last one month and today i just gave an you know one more operation type like post to that token the next call that has been made you know every time server checks so and the next call is made it will check whether it has a post authorization and if it's available it allows that post connection so it's almost a live connection and live authorization and every time it checks and there is no state is been saved in the server because you remember the design pattern of rest it says stateless there is no state saved in the server so every time client has to provide its authorization to the server to make sure it is the connection is valid and token based rest api means having the authorization to access the resource using the token key token key is very simple you know like an um, alpha numeric set of characters which has been shared from server to the client and client uses it every time it makes a connection to the server very simple concept